What's up, boys? Look what Cheesy's got today. Three in one, the two channel oscilloscope, multimeter, and wave generator. When I was younger and I was into electronics and I was taking classes, you couldn't touch an oscilloscope for under a few thousand dollars. Very nice. Here's your charging port. Comes with some leads. Gives you one oscilloscope probe. 1x or 10x probe. Standard BNC lead with alligator clips. Multimeter leads. USB-A to USB-C charger. Got the user's guide for the probe. Operating instructions for the oscilloscope. And a multimeter. And a nice little book. Comes with a nice little carry bag too. Let's fire it up. Do a little kickstand on the back here. So right now we're in voltage, which is here. Shows you where to plug in to the port with your leads, which would be down here. Has nice little protectors on the leads here. While you're in voltage, this is where you'd pick. F1 would be DC voltage, F2 would be AC, F3 would be frequency in hertz, and F4 would be duty. Just happen to have a 18650 battery here. Four volts. It's supposed to be 3.7, so I'd say it's fully charged. AC volts. We'll run it out of this extension cord. Auto sensing, as you can see. Let's try the frequency in hertz. 59.99. Close enough to 60. And then the duty, 50%. Now we'll switch to resistance. I have a very, very old decade box here. 2 mega ohms. Your diode check. And it works, it's a good diode. It blocks voltage one way, and lets it flow the other. And that's a continuity through sound. And then we have capacitance. 493 it's saying. Then we have amperage, which would be these two. You can do DC microamps, AC microamps, and then DC amp and AC amp, which would be these two. Then you have your AWG, which is your waveform generator. It shows you this output there. You can set your type. You can set your frequency level. Punch it in there, and you could do voltage peak to peak, which you would do here. So that outputs to the BNC, this BNC. So that's set to 1 hertz. Then we can set it to 1K. Pretty neat. So for the scope mode, you, got, you have channel 1. You can hit DC coupling 1 to 1, OK. You can go to next screen, position, vertical, and horizontal. And channel 2, it's the same thing. So we're going to go back to channel 1. Channel 1 is right there. So let's plug in here. So we have our wave generator outputting into channel 1, which is green. You can come down to the menu here. This is for what you want on the screen. So we'll go into voltage. And we'll do voltage peak to peak. And we will do time and frequency. And then we'll back out. And it shows it right there. It shows your frequency, which is fluctuating almost to 800 megahertz. And your voltage is 1 volt peak to peak. You can either manually do the time and amplitude. Or you can hit automatic down the bottom 
and it'll automatically do it. Now that's channel one, which is green. We're gonna plug this into channel two. We'll hit channel two. Channel two is yellow. You see the green in the background. I have not figured out how to separate these two to go one above the other. I'm waiting on a reply from the company to see whether that's possible. And it's the same here with the menu. Of course, it's left over from the last one. Voltage peak to peak. So there's channel two. And of course, channel one. Got wonky again. It only comes with one 10x and 100x scope lead. But you can purchase those or if you already have something. If you're watching a waveform, you can actually stop it here. So it stops the waveform, see? And you can restart. This also has a save button here. Let's hit save again. To view your save files, hit menu, go to waveform, and there's all the save files. Now you can pick what you want to view it. Previous. And then you hit this back. This is one of those less expensive power supplies. Let's see what the waveform looks like. Now it looks like just a square wave. It's not even a modified. Let's see what it looks like in the case. Ho oh ho! It's tight, but it fits. That's what she said. This thing is awesome. When I was younger, and I was into electronics, and I was taking classes, you couldn't touch an oscilloscope for under a few thousand dollars. Everything is so compact, and this is 80 megahertz. 80 megahertz in a handheld. Just to have something like this in a big unit back in the day was a big deal. Now it's in the palm of your hand. <laughs> and it's so cheap. If you're looking for something for your shop or to keep in your car and you're looking for a versatile multimeter here you have it the huge internal battery it says it'll last 10 hours in the automotive industry you actually need an oscilloscope to diagnose some of the issues that are on these cars today it's packed full of features that they weren't even heard of 10 years ago if you're interested look down below i have the links another vin Chisel approved product and as always Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on motoshees.com. Thanks for watching.